Hello everyone, this is Rajiv Sanaki, Department of Civil Engineering, Jain Polytechnic, Belgaami. So today, we'll be covering the last part of Unit 1, that is Introduction to RCC. So we'll be covering the last two portions remaining in this unit, that is Lecture number 11 and 12. So the content present in the both lectures are T-beams, structural behavior of, of a beam and slab floor laid monolithically, concept of L-beam, coming to T-beam. So T-beam in the previous lecture also we discussed that T-beams are T-shaped structures in cross section which are laid monolithically where it, it is divided into two parts the upper part is called as flange the lower part is called as web or rib it is load bearing structure now coming to L beam L beams are nothing but the edges of the T beam so but these are in inverted shape so these L beams take the loads coming at the end so here in this figure you can see T beam and a L beam that is beam provided at the edge forms an inverted L that is called as a L beam and the center most portion is, is a T beam. Now coming to structural behavior of a beam and slab floor laid monolithically. Uh, monolithically means they are cast at once, they are joined. So the slab in the T beam upper part it is the uh, flange and the beam it is the web in the figure you can see the flange that is also called a slab and the web that is the beam so here in figure 2 we can see a eye section consisting of two flanges and one web a compression flange which is actually effective and a tension flange which is ineffective because it uh, lies below the neutral axis concept of L beam so as I told previously that L beam is nothing but an inverted L shaped beam which is cast at the end of the slab Next coming to types of stresses in L beams. So in bending the beams take tension forces and slab takes compression forces. Since L beams receive their loads from one side only that is at the edge, they are subjected to torsional moments. So here you can see a live that is a structure consisting of T beams as well as L beam. Now, last but not the least, the design steps provided in L beam. First one is determination of width of flange, that is BF, that is breadth of flange. First, we have to determine the breadth of the flange. So next we have to fix one, assume one depth required. The third one is calculate moment of resistance. Fourth one is calculate AST that is amount of steel in tension zone. Fifth one is check for shear and provide shear reinforcement. Sixth one is check for that is check of deflection. And finally 
चेक फॉर डेवलपमेंट लेंथ थैंक यू